everyone today I have a gorgeous journal collage to share with you all this is just something I had from my own inspiration something I wanted to do I am so excited to share this one with you I don't know why I haven't done something like this sooner and if you'd like to see what I created this time yes again it's in my enchanted forest journal from Cora Cray Crafts then please stay tuned <laughs> Yes, this is dragonflies, everybody. Lots and lots of dragonflies. I really love how this turned out. This was just so fun to make. Uh, the gorgeous washi tape from Simply Gilded. It's kind of funny. I originally just intended to kind of have it along the, the edge of the spine and maybe the bottom. But as it just, and then for some reason, I put it along the top. And then at that point, it looked weird having it on three sides. So I just decided to do it all four sides. Absolutely love it. I kind of have these grayish green uh, vintage looking papers in the background here and here. I cut this one out. I fussy cut this one. Uh, kind of, you can kind of see I overlapped the, a dragonfly wing here from a sticker. But I did fussy cut this top one out and then the rest was a square sheet. It shows kind of three in specimen style, vintage style, and then this other vintage one of looking one over here with some words. But I liked mixing the grayish green with a bunch of colors. And I kind of, as you can tell, for the most part, stuck to the colors of the washi tape. The most magical thing that I love about this one is how I had stickers that pretty much matched the colors of the washi tape. These stickers are, the colorful stickers are from Timu. I got them a while ago, probably in one of my first journal orders, because as you know, or if you don't know, my journal, I have a separate Instagram for all of my journaling collages. It's paper dragonfly underscore journaling. You're welcome to follow it if you'd like to see the collages. Sometimes I post stuff over there that I don't necessarily show on the channel, uh, as in other collages. I have one up right now, uh, at the time of the recording that I haven't showed on YouTube yet. So if you want to go see and find which one that is, you're welcome to do so. Uh, but I named it Paper, paper Dragonfly Journaling, uh, of course, to bring out the idea of paper crafts when people search. And a lot of people love dragonflies, especially myself. I have an entire pin under my logo of that Instagram as to why I chose it. And in that logo, I designed it myself. I took the picture of the dragonfly myself. For the longest time, I wanted to study dragonflies. That would still be an awesome dream. But here we have it. We've got the, the blues, greens, and purples of the swashy tape are reflected in these gorgeous dragonflies. Another feature I like is that I did leave a little bit of white. And it, I think I kind of like it's almost the negative space. It almost... It really accentuates some of the insect features, like the legs here, and I had both um, heads with antenna from this green one here and this blue one here going towards the corner on either side. Kind of liked that symmetry there. And I, I just think it's it's really nice. It really, and then I brought in a tiny bit of orange and, and different colors with this one. And I just thought it needed that little bit of pop of color. And I do have a little bit of another, um, dragonfly ephemera book right in here you can see a tiny blue dragonfly basically filling this space up i have a whole dragonfly ephemera book from amazon you do have to cut everything out so there aren't any like peelable stickers but i do tend intend to use more of that i might even do another uh, dragonfly spread over here i did not even come close to, oh, that reminds me, I wanted to grab some other supplies, but I didn't come close to even making a dent in all of my dragonfly supplies, you guys. I have two more washi tapes with dragonflies that I didn't even open for this spread. Uh, there was one from Timu that's more of a clear pet tape, which would have looked great on this spread as well. And then there's another kind of golden, golden accented gold foiled one from Cora Crea Crafts. I haven't used that yet either. I can't wait to use both of those. I meant to actually bring those in to this video to show you guys what they look like. But you know what? You'll see them in future collages for sure. So we'll have them there. But let me know what you think of this. I had a lot of fun making this. It's about time that I did an all dragonfly spread and or collage and I just, I'm glad I finally got to do it. I really love this one. This sticker is so pretty. 
The background pages are also from Timu. I believe, yeah, they're definitely from Timu. They actually came in a pack with uh, vintage and spooky looking owls, dragonflies, and butterflies. So that that'll be a lot of fun. I'll be hopefully using some more of that coming up in the future. Let's just look at all these colors and how well. I mean, this one was just green and blue. Some of these were just no-brainers to add with all the colors. Just the colors are perfect. And then we got some nice gray in the background, gray-green. It kind of looks green, but if you look at it this way, it does look more gray next to the colors, which I, and I love that too. So let me know what you think. This is just a quick showing of this awesome collage. I had a lot of fun making it. And a whole bunch of different species of dragonflies. It's amazing how many species there are, and, and, and you know, this gil some washi tape from Simply Gilded really just adds to it all the shine. It's so cool. And uh, let me know what you think, and leave me a comment in the outer comment section. And if you haven't already, please give this video a like, a thumbs up. It helps me, and it helps my channel. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.